Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates. So, the spring is not on the right finger. Sorry, I had a ring that was falling off. That's how I knew. Anyhow, um, what do we got here? What do we got for the upcoming energy? Remember, the timing is fluid, okay? The timing is fluid. This, this is just something I'm picking up on, something that's coming in. And this could come in <laughs> whenever, whenever, okay? Hmm. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. Well, we've heard that one before, haven't we? But, you know, that's what I see. So, yeah, we do. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding on tight, very stubborn. Right? Obsessed. Obsessed with holding on. Can't let go. May not be on the same page, but I can't let go because, you know, it's mine and I have to hold it. So somebody's holding on to something. Holding on. Ten of cups. Holding on to the relationship, right? Holding, Maybe holding on just for the, for the money reasons, right? We have a relationship here. Somebody's holding on to it, right? Wanting to hold on to it. But it looks like it's over because tens are completions. So we probably have a relationship that is over. They're not on the same page. It's probably, you know, already gone up in flames by the looks of things. But holding on, it's something to hold. Can't let it go. Can't let it go. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. This is somebody who is given to take action. This is somebody who is a protector, somebody that is strong, somebody that is noble, typically does the right thing. Somebody is about to take action. Ooh, ooh, the world card reversed. Now that is resisting change. Oh, yes. So we do have somebody that is resisting change and they are resisting change because there's some, maybe there's some financial assets or something that are involved with holding on to this relationship. I need to hold on to it because of, for financial reasons, right? Um, there's no positive change that is going to come of this with the world card reverse. We have somebody here that is lacking willpower and they're frustrated and they're just refusing to explore new avenues. This person is very stubborn, very stuck in the present, may feel entitled. I got to stay in this relationship because I'm entitled to my portion. You know, it's about the assets. So, you know, but because this person is driven by society, they are the king of wands. Okay. This person is driven by social pressure very much so okay um very materialistic and that is the truth the world card reversed um needs to accept i can't accept yeah things aren't gonna change they aren't getting any better there's upheaval there's chaos there's an imbalance there's a lack of cooperation there's uh, this is there's negative behavior it's extremely uh, frustrating. Somebody is in a very extremely frustra frustrating situation where it's like this is this is just uh, very inappropriate. Okay, it's it's go it's too much. It is too much. So we have somebody here that is obsessed with holding on to a relationship, which it's like they're not on the same page with this person. There it is, right there. Definitely not on the same page. It's like there's probably some unfinished business with the past. Somebody may have gotten into this relationship to fill a void. You know, they had a void. that Obviously, that's usually why we get into relationships. Somebody got into a relationship to fill a void. Now they don't want to let it go. That's holding on for financial reasons or because they're obsessed. There's some sort of obsession here. Stubbornness. Social pressure. Refusing to take a new approach, frustrated, unhappy, no, no working together. Hmm. But there's somebody that is about to see the light. This King of Wands is about to see the light. This person has life experience, is sick of it. This person is sick of holding on. They are, even though they're stubborn, they're sick of it. They're ready for this relationship to end. 
It's not going to get any better. The temperance reverse, it's not getting any better. Okay? There's hostilities here. There's conflicts. There's, there's compete, competing interests here. It's just a mess. And it's not getting any better. We, and I think this, this very wise individual sees, sees that there's a better opportunity for happiness because this is extremely happy. This is, this is seeing the light. Look at how big and bright that is. That's a big, bright light. Okay. It's bright. It's so bright. It's blinding. It's, it's like you can't miss it. So there's a big, bright light here. And this could be leaving without saying goodbye. And this is extremely unhealthy. So somebody could be taking action and it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but this is, this is the energy. This person takes action. He sees, he sees an opportunity that is bigger and brighter because there's no success here. There's too much chaos. This, this, this is bad. It's really bad. So this guy is going to take action and he is going to go someplace where it's happier. So he's taking action. Uh, it's like he sees clearly. I mean, it's so bright. This, this is big and bright. And he, it's like, this is without saying goodbye. Now this is imbalance. Five of wands, extreme competition here, which I think I said that already. We've had, we have somebody that has been in some sort of competition. There's been some pettiness. There's been, you know, having to put one fire out after another. It's just been a mess. It's like they've, they feel like it's, it's just been, uh, they've been getting hit one right after another. It's too much. I can't do this anymore. I'm sick of it. It's hurt. It hurts. It hurts. This is too much for me. So we, we do, we have somebody here that it has, has decided this is a wise man, an older man. This is not no spring chicken. This is not a young boy. This is not a teenager. This is an older masculine man that is deciding to take action. Now, I don't know if this is somebody in protection services or as a judge or because usually the king of wands is somebody who is a protector of some sort. This could be a father could be a husband, could be, uh, you know, a boyfriend or a business owner or a boss or somebody like that. This is a very wise individual. This person um, has experience behind their back. Okay, this is no youngin. This, this person is seeing something, See, definitely seeing something. being enlightened. Now, this is a card of freedom. There's no success here. This is this too much. Somebody is is deciding to break free. Even though they've been holding on for dear life, they have been holding on to this relationship. But it's already been up in flames. Don't love it anymore. This is not emotionally fulfilling. There's no love here anymore. Somebody's lost that love and feeling, right? It's like this isn't love. They're shutting down. Somebody is shutting down. They're shutting down. They can't do it anymore. We have somebody here that is shutting down. Could be a, I don't know why this card is bent. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But this one is ready to face a challenge. You see mountains, they're challenges. And something about character. Somebody's character. They have to act with integrity. Now, this has been wishing. It's like a, a, a shooting star or something. Somebody has been wishing for something. They've been wishing for freedom, I think. Wishing for this to end, but unable to. Hmm. It's definitely going to be an emotional time. We have somebody here that's, it's almost like, I got to do the practical thing. I got to do the right thing. I got to face this challenge. Somebody is about ready to face the challenge of, you know, dealing with a situation that they have held on to that is no longer love. I mean, it's a challenge. Yes, it is. But this is a card of integrity. This is a card of, you know, reality, stability, security. Loyalty. 
and character. I mean, that I see that as character right there. Okay. Somebody is looking at a relationship. That is over. It's like they know it's over. But they're still holding on to it. Because of security reasons. They may feel guilty. They may feel guilty. They may, have, may feel ashamed. I think there's also somebody that has been ghosted or left behind or abandoned or neglected. And so somebody may feel ashamed that they have done this. Sad. <laughs> somebody is probably going to be left behind. We definitely have some poor health. Somebody is, that is very weak here as well. Weak. So I'm wondering if somebody is, is literally going to see the light. You know what I'm saying? Because they're weak, they're sick, they're ill. This is illness, this is weak, they're sick. I'm just got to be honest with you. Somebody could fall. It's like they could break, they could collapse. I'm sorry, but I'm just telling you what I see. And they could leave without saying goodbye. So I don't know who this reading is for. They've been holding on for dear life, but they're very, very weak. And they're sad. And they're dying, or they're giving up, or something like that. And this could be shutting down emotionally, you know. Somebody's, and, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but that could be somebody's heart shutting down. The Ace of Cups reverse. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. So, you know. Anyhow, this is also abandonment. The Five of Pentacles, neglect. Somebody is obsessed because this is an obsession, and they. This is not being loved, being abandoned, dissatisfied. We have somebody here that is very unhappy. And it is something about a broken heart. Very, very, very unhappy. And you notice that is all red. Something about heart. Something about this isn't, this is, all I want is happiness. I just want happiness. I want peace. I want freedom. This, this is this is too much for me. So, yeah, we have somebody here that is um, very, very sad. Um, it feels like there's been some sort of uh, poor, poor, poor health that has happened because of some sort of neglect or some sort of competition that drained somebody. You know, there's been a big competition of some sort. We have somebody here that is really, really struggling. And now it's like things aren't getting better. They're getting worse. They're going through a really hard time, you know, and all they want is peace, right? They want happiness. So I feel like we have somebody that is barely hanging on. They're barely, barely, they're barely hanging on. It is true. Okay, they're, they are barely hanging on. They're holding on for dear life, but this relationship is coming to an end. And they are going to be facing this hurdle. It's going to happen. This person is going to take action. This person is going to see a brighter, a big, bright opportunity for freedom. I, that is what's going to happen here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Moving. Oh, yes. The uh, chariot, that's moving. That is, I'm out. I'm gone. See ya. Somebody is moving. They are going to find the strength to move forward. They want victory. They want success. They're going to they're gonna deal with the opposition. Somebody is either going to... It's like, I got to control. I got to control myself. I got to put myself in the driver's seat. I got to go. I got to go. Somebody's leaving. And they're leaving in a hurry. It, it's going to be sudden. I think it's going to be sudden. It's like... <sighs> All of a sudden, something happens, and a fire gets lit under their ass, and they and they run to freedom. So that kind of thing. It's just like you know, I can't. This is too much for me. This is too extreme. This is too too much conflict. Too much competition. I don't have nothing left to say. It's like they just they run out to the car. They get in the car, and they get behind the driver's seat, and they don't say goodbye, and they leave, and they never come back. We also have somebody here that could be jumping in the vehicle and heading towards love. It's like this person could be making a decision. 
that they see an opportunity for happiness and they're going after it. It's like, I want to be part of the competition. So it could go that way that way if somebody here that is very dissatisfied and sad maybe they ghosted somebody and they left somebody behind and now they want to um, come forward I mean that could certainly be the case that could be the case somebody could be feeling guilty for not reciprocating not giving love okay because this is kind of like feeling guilty for not giving love very dissatisfied that they broke somebody's heart they're taking action you know to bring happiness and to heal a situation this could go i go all day with these cards this is a challenge okay somebody is going but this is about doing the right thing acting with nobility acting with integrity putting in the effort to deal with the challenge Deciding, you know what, I, I can do, I can, I can overcome any amount, and this is what I want, this is a wish, this is the what I wished for, you know, I wished for this relationship, I'm going to get it. So, somebody is taking action to bring themselves happiness. There could be some unfinished business with the past. Oh my God, this really could go all day. It really could. We could have somebody here that doesn't want to let go of somebody that they abandoned. You know, um, I do see movement. This is somebody actually like, I'm going to deal with the challenge. I'm going to deal with the opposition. I'm going after it. This is, it's, it's, it's so clear. It is so clear that this is what I have to do. It's like, I know it's, it's this opportunity is so bright and it is so abundant and it's so beautiful. I got to have it. So there is definitely a masculine and this is an older masculine this ain't no little boy this is an older masculine that is making a decision to get in his vehicle and go someplace whether he's leaving a situation or, he, or he's heading towards another one he is going someplace and it does involve a partnership all about love right it is you see the pinky so somebody is headed towards a partner they are but it is a masculine that is making the decision Good luck.